I honestly feel like I would save so much money if there was no such thing as online shopping because I don't like to leave my house. Oh, it's cold outside and the mall's crowded? Well, I guess I'll stay home and not spend any money. But no, now I can buy everything from the comfort of my home and have it delivered in like two days. It is both the best thing and the worst thing all wrapped up in one. But today, today it's a good thing because we gonna get into a haul. Woo hauls. Hello everyone, I'm here today to share with you guys another haul and I feel like, I feel like I just did one. That's two. Two so far for 2017. We're off to, we're off to a very expensive start. But there have been so many amazing new products that have been launching so far in 2017 that I had to share them all with you guys. There are a couple of press samples here as well as products that I actually purchased from Sephora. Um, if you're interested in the drugstore haul that I did at the beginning of the month, click on the link in the cards or I'll put it in the info bar below if you want to watch it at the end of this video. And if you're new to my hauls, don't forget to check back in two weeks when I'm going to be doing a haul update for you guys, sharing the good, the bad, and the ugly. And don't forget to click on the little bell icon down below so you don't miss out on when that video goes live and new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's get into this. So the first products I want to share with you guys were actually press samples that were sent to me from Urban Decay, but I just sprayed them on my face and my whole room smells really nice. So we're going to start with that. And that is their new setting sprays. Some of them are relaunched in new packaging. There's also an extension to the line as well. And so I wanted to share some of the ones with you. I just sprayed one on my face today. This is the vitamin infused complexion prep priming spray. B6. Is B6 a vitamin? I don't even know. They launch and relaunch a huge variety within the line, so I'm just gonna quickly kind of download you on all of them, and then I will share with you guys sort of my favorites, the ones that worked really well for me, and maybe the ones that didn't. Hopefully they all work well, though. So one is the B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray, which I sprayed on my face before my uh, makeup this morning. And um, it is skin balancing, it even skin tone, and it also is oil absorbing. They also have their All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, which is a classic within the line. It works incredibly well. I haven't tried, I don't know if this is a new formula, or it's just sort of like relaunched in new packaging, um, but I have tried their um, all-nighter before and it's fantastic. Oh, dropping makeup all over the floor, cool. They also have their D-Slick Oil Control Setting Spray. This is another classic within the line that um, people really enjoy. I think they had another product that was similar to this. I don't know if it was a spray or like a like a primer or something that they put on their face, but they discontinued it and they have it in the spray now and people loved it. So this is really good for all you girls out there that are experiencing any oiliness on the face. It's just gonna soak it all up and make sure you are matte as anything. Over 90% said their makeup looked less shiny, didn't slide, and rarely needed to be touched up. I like those numbers. Next up is their Chill Cooling and Hydrating Makeup Setting Spray. So this is for everyone who is experiencing dryness and it also has some sort of like cooling technology. What is this? Temperature control technology that actually chills the surface of your makeup to keep it looking gorgeously just applied for up to 12 hours. Chills the surface of your makeup. So like, a, like, a, like an ice cube on your face? I don't fully understand how this is supposed to be making me feel better, but okay. This is supposed to give you a glowing, dewy complexion. It's not gonna settle into any fine lines and it's supposed to keep your makeup feeling really vibrant. Not feeling very vibrant. Does your makeup feel vibrant? I feel like not. Looking vibrant is what I meant to say all day long, so that's that's also very nice. And lastly from the setting sprays is the Quick Fix Hydro Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. And this has coconut water. What other things does it have in it? Sep Sepitonic M3 and Niacinamide. It's ni Niacinamide. All right. I don't know why that's on the front. I don't know what that means, Urban Decay. It's basically like an all day thing. You can spray it on your face before makeup, after makeup, after you clean your face. You can spray it on your dog. I don't know. There's just like a whole bunch of different uses for this. So that seems pretty awesome. Then they came out with a collection of three different primers. One is their D Slick Complexion Primer for shine control and pore minimization. They also did an Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I think it's more for um, smoothing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles as well as um, filling in in all of those pores and situations like that. And then they have a self-adjusting one which is adapting pigments as soft focus and shine control. What is it adapting pigments? <laughs> so on the back it says, your boyfriend may not always get you, but our self-adjusting primer does. What does that even mean? Can someone explain that to me? All right, so it is white, it has a white primer. Woo, it is very watery. And then you blend it, blend it. Oh, I see, I see, alrighty, okay. I totally thought this was gonna be a color correcting primer that was gonna change to like purples or reds or whatever, depending on what you had going on in your face. So I was pretty stoked, but it's just one of those um, primers that's changed, like a color changing one that adapts to um, your skin tone. Uh, it's nice and it looks like, like it's, 
pretty good like coverage considering it's a primer. It's supposed to have like a blurring effect, like a soft focus thing going on to your makeup. It feels very like silicone-y um, from the feel. It's almost like that like greasy, like slippery feel to it. So maybe it'll fill in the pores nicely and sit on top um, of your face and like kind of smooth out everything for your foundation. I'm kind of curious how this would look by itself without any foundation too. If you want like a no, no makeup makeup day, I don't know. I'll keep you posted. The next product is under my desk. Cause I dropped it. I found it. Let's fix the hair. Whoa, it's all on my face. This next product is from Sephora. It is their Dimensional Highlighting Palette. Cool. Like as in cool toned. I mean, it's also a pretty cool product, but like cool tone, not warm tone. You know what I'm saying? But the packaging, like look at that. I like that. It's all sort of holographic and fun. So according to the back, there are five different colors in here that are cream to gel formulas to transform skin and add a glossiness and radiating highlighting to the complexion. It also gives you an in-depth instructions manual on how to use each color. So I swatched this one that looks almost silver and I swatched it and there's there's nothing but gel on my hand. I guess this is the wet glossy look one. High gloss. It doesn't have any pigment it seems in it. Let's just test this out to confirm. No, just a gel everyone. Next up is Cosmic Glaze, which has a slight amount more of of shimmer, but <laughs> not much. So far guys, these are not very uh, pigmented. Nope, that's the same as all the other ones. All right, Pulsar I can kinda see. I can kinda see that one, guys. And now on to Chromosphere, which is supposed to be like super bold for if you want like a really bold, I don't know, robotic look on the face. <laughs> can someone explain to me how that is supposed to be? Any form of bold. What? Am I just using this wrong? I don't understand. Like there's like a tiny bit of some form of highlight to that, but not very much. If I really wanted like to have just a glossy look on my face, I could have just gotten like clear gloss out of my drawers. I'm gonna give Sephora the benefit of the doubt though. I will test these out. Maybe they look different once applied to the face and just look spectacular, but on the back of my hand, I'm not super excited about them. Next up are two products from two different brands that I had never purchased from before from Sephora. Um, and so I just kind of want to expand beyond some of the other brands that are great and I know have fantastic products, but I kind of want to see what else is out there. What else is hiding in, in the Sephora realm of products? So the first thing is by RMS Beauty and it is their Magic Luminizer. So it's a luminizing powder or a gel. I think it's a, I think it's like a gel. Hold on. All right, so it looks like this. I feel like it's gonna be some sort of a creamy formula here. Ooh, it's very gel-like. <laughs> See, there we go. This is pigment, everyone. Oh, pretty. Okay, very, very, again, very subtle. Not like, not like Sephora palette subtle. Like you can actually see this one, but very much on the subtle side. It feels really nice on the skin, almost hydrating, almost, I feel like. I feel like it'd be really good if you had dry skin. This would feel really, really nice. And it also seems to be quite buildable, which is good. It doesn't feel like it's going to be super greasy on the face if you want to like really layer it up. Um, but it's quite pretty. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but that's really, really nice. So I will test that out. I'm curious how this would look, you know, on top of the lips, on the eyes, on the cheekbones, kind of all over the face where you want to have that, have that nice dewiness um, to the skin. So I'm gonna I'm play around with this. I'll let you know what's up. And then another product is from a brand called Surat or Surate or Surat. Surat? <laughs> I feel like I, every single time it's wrong. This is their Surreal Skin Concealer. I believe it had some really good ratings on Sephora. So I want to test out because I love me a good concealer. Concealer and foundation, that's my jam. I got it in the shade two, which seems to be a good match for like under the eyes. I don't know, <laughs> does that look like a good match? Does it blend into my skin? It looks very light to medium coverage. It seems to be applying fairly well. It's not as creamy and pigmented as some of the other ones that I've tried before, but that might actually be quite nice if you're trying to apply it to a specific area and you don't want like a ton of product just sort of clumping up under the eyes. We'll see if it covers my dark circles. Next are some press samples that were sent to me from Clinique and I had to share this with you guys because I think this is just adorable. So Clinique is doing a collaboration with Crayola and they're launching this limited edition selection of their chubby sticks and they're all in new shades and look how cute they are. Like, look at those, they look like grown up crayons. So I think there's like 10 different shades, there's just like four of them, I just wanted to share them with you guys. But they also sent me this and like some crayons. They sent me like a picture, I think this is like my thumbnail or whatever. But they turned it into like a piece that you can color in. Look at, 
that's me everyone. So Julia is already stoked. She's gonna like paint everything pink and purple. So now I finally will know what I look like with pink hair. So they're not gonna be super pigmented, but they add just like a little nice hint of color right there. And they're very buildable. They feel really good on the lips. And uh, yeah, super stoked about these. What's this one? This one is Fuzzy Wuzzy. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look how pretty these colors are. Mm-hmm. I'll let you know if they're any good or which ones maybe like my favorite ones are or least favorites are. I don't know. Are you guys excited about this? I think this is really cute. Next up is a collection that you guys have been asking me a lot about um, and my opinion on it and it is the Too Faced Peach Collection. They have a selection. They have a glow kit. They have their eyeshadow palette. They have these oil tint um, glosses as well as their beautiful, beautiful peach blush. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Mm. Like a little bit like candle artificial, but like still really good. So this is their iconic Papa Don't Peach blush, which is I, like a spoiler alert. It's gorgeous. Like look how pretty that is. It's such a pretty shade and it goes on beautifully. It just blends out gorgeous. There's a reason this is so iconic. And they also have a huge selection of these peach oil lip glosses and they're really, really creamy. I've only tested out a couple of them so far, so I'll keep testing them out and let you guys know which ones my favorites are, but they feel really nice on the lips, very hydrating. They're very pretty shades, but I'm still sort of working my way through them to make sure I like all of them. And then they also have the Sweet Peach Glow Kit. This is a combination of a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer, although I'm not really sure how this is supposed to be a bronzer since it has like a highlight kind of thing in it. I think if I had no uh, self-tanner on, that'd be like still really nice though. Can you guys, can you see that? As I like turn my hand at an awkward angle. Mmm, plus it smells really nice. I want my whole face to smell like peaches all the time. And lastly is their eyeshadow palette, which I have not included in this video because I'm going to be including it in another video, comparing it to another eyeshadow palette. But I will continue to test out the rest of the collection for you guys and let you guys know what my favorite pieces and least favorite pieces are in the haul update. And then we have the new Hourglass lipsticks, the girl collection. So they have names like Protector, Liberator, Warrior, Dreamer. There's a huge, huge collection of them in a ton of different shades, ranging from creamy nudes to really bold, bright colors. I have not tried any of them so far, but we'll see what the pigmentation's like. So it feels like a very classic lipstick, a buildable lipstick. You can put on one swipe for a very subtle effect or really like build it up for a bold look. They feel nice and hydrating on the lips, but they're looking a little bit streaky. And I don't know if it's like, because I have like a whole bunch of other product on my hand right now. So we'll see how they sit on the lips. But again, it just feels like a very classic lipstick. They're supposed to be really nice and hydrating. So I will let you guys know what my favorites are and my least favorites are. Next up is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. It's supposed to hydrate, energize, glow, and illuminate your skin, which I mean, I'm not, not mad at that, that sounds awesome. I love all of their masks, so I don't know why I've never tried their moisturizers before. Like, I feel like this is something I would also really enjoy. If I could get it out of the box. Whoa, it is it definitely has a luminizing effect to it. Like, you can see it on the skin right there. Like, look at that. Really pretty. Very nice and like, not too over the top, but it gives a nice, a little bit of a champagne-y gold gleam. I feel it would look really, really pretty on the face or on like a day where you don't want to put a lot of time and effort into a ton of makeup, like throw this on and like that Urban Decay primer and then like some mascara, bam, super nice, glowy, gorgeous, hydrated skin. Oh, I like that. That's really, that's really pretty. I just want to stare at this part of my hand all day. So we'll see how this feels on the skin. My skin, it tends to be more on the combination side, a little bit reactive. So we will see, but I like it so far on my hand. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you love hauls and you are excited for the update in two weeks. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on it and new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And check out my Rachel's Life channel in your, if you're interested in more like recipes, mom stuff, home decor stuff. Um, I put up new videos on that channel every Saturday. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.